What up, Greater Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. This video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. Click on their ad on our website for a chance to win your team a free banquet. Oh, thank God it's finally here. The most anticipated high school football game of this regular season. St. John Bosco, modern day, Cerritos College on Friday night at 7.30. Both teams top five in the state, top 10 in the nation. But before this result has playoff implications, it will decide the Trinity League where the Monarchs used to rule. It's been the Bosco Show recently, four-time defending champions riding a 23-game winning streak in league. Simply put, what a difference a coach makes. I think that we have elevated our program to a consistent level to where we're competing in these games now for seven years and hopefully it's a lot longer after that but it's honestly a week-to-week -week approach it's a year-to-year -year approach uh, we don't drop uh, too much on you know past accomplishments because it's a completely different team you know same on our team as well as theirs so we're a completely different football team than we were a year ago and, and so is modern day that's a fair point but it is impossible to forget the shellacking that bosco gave modern day on the road in trinity league play last year when both teams were also nationally ranked it was 35 nothing at one point in the third quarter so obviously the monarchs are going to be looking for some revenge and the bosco seniors including berkeley holman know what this game means yeah it's the biggest game of the year you know it's always the league deciding game, you know, with us and modern day. Playoff implications as well, you know, we want to win and get a good seed. Be on our side of the bracket so, you know, we can face one of those two uh, modern day or on the opposite side. So, you know, it's, it's more than just a league game. It has playoff implications, so, you know, we should go out there and take care of business. Bosco has taken care of the proverbial league business 23 straight times, like I said. And a big reason for that is because this is just a familiar feeling. Yeah, Coach Nego always does a good job at scheduling those non-conference games. Gorman this year, St. X on TV, you know, gets us ready for those big audiences late in the year. You know, you don't come into the game kind of shell-shocked with the crowd. You're used to it, you know, so the way Coach Negro does that, it helps us a lot later in the season. It's going to be a chess match between these two great coaching staffs on Friday night, but you can bet we're going to see a lot of offense. Local fans already know about Bosco quarterback Real Mitchell Jr. averaging about 250 yards per game in total offense, but the Monarchs are just putting up stupid numbers. Sophomore quarterback JT Daniels is completing about 80% of his passes, while the Monarchs have scored almost 400 points in seven games and average almost 500 yards of total offense per game so that Bosco defense is going to have its hands full injuries on that side of the ball will also put extra pressure on the Bosco secondary but they can have a season defining performance against Daniels on Friday and they might need it if Bosco wants to continue this winning streak and stay atop the Trinity League. The key could be big plays on defense and which team can keep the ball away from their opponent's offense. If you're looking at rushing games on paper you've got to give the edge to Bosco. Obviously, this is just one of our many games here in the local area, and you can follow all of the live updates on Friday night and come back for all of the highlight videos and coverage on Saturday here at GazetteSports.com and the Press-Telegram. Thanks to all of our sponsors, including Papalucci's, a great place to eat on 2nd Street. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and come back this weekend for all of your local football.